Gelman reporting for Katie Chats here at the Female Eye Film Festival in downtown Toronto with Val Bahajar. How does it feel to be back at the Female Eye? Uh, it's great. This year I'm a jury, mm -hmm. on the jury, so I got to see a ton of films and uh, help select the ones that they uh, presented. What is the selection process like? Oh man, you know, um, <laughs> it's really it's really difficult because you want, I, you as a filmmaker and an actor, I know how difficult it is to make anything, mm -hmm. and then how difficult it is to be rejected and what it means to get picked. Um, so I was very very careful. Um, and also, you know, you have to be careful what mood you're in and the, <laughs> and the time of day you're watching a film and what you've done that day or what's happened to you because you come in with that mood and you're not going to like the film. So I'm very careful. I am very careful mm -hmm. when I pick. But you do know pretty much right off the bat mm -hmm. if this is a okay film or not, you know. Um, basically, what I'm looking for is authenticity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And as a filmmaker, you've had films in the past at the Female Eye and you've even won awards. What was that experience like and how did it help you as a filmmaker and an actor? Um, well, as a filmmaker, I mean, you get to see all of these films, right? And uh, an international group, wonderful group of people, wonderful films. And you just learn and there are panel discussions that really inspire. Just It's all about inspiring make your next project. Um, also with short films you don't get to, to see your stuff on the big screen much at all at all so that is a bonus and you get to get reviewed um, and you get feedback you know and, and that's fantastic you can ask more for more than that really. Um, okay maybe a little more <laughs> but uh, so that was really great and as an actor um, well people see you so you're out there. I don't usually act in my films, so uh, I, I wasn't selling myself in that way, but people know me as an actor, so they see that I can do more than just act, I suppose. Yeah. yeah. What is the importance of hearing women's voices as filmmakers in film? <laughs> well, we're a big chunk of the population, <laughs> and we've got, we've got a lot to say and a lot of great stories, and we see maybe a little better <laughs> um, or should I say differently and uh, what we see should be seen you know and needs to be heard and I don't get it I don't get it what year is it um, and and the percentage of female directors out there it's disgusting actually shame 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 on funding and blah blah or anybody who picks <laughs> what advice would you give to an aspiring director and actor? Tenacity, tenacity, tenacity. Uh, when you stop having fun, check in and then either go again or change gears or try something else. Um, yeah, don't kill yourself though. You know, and it, don't take it personally. Don't take anything personally. Yeah. Who have been the most inspiring women in your life? Well, a lot of them are teachers that, um, yeah, I, I don't, you know, I don't think you would know, but uh, they're wonderful people. Judith Coltai, who lives in Victoria, B.C., who taught me authentic movement. <laughs> Leslie French, a movement teacher. Um, Val Campbell, an actor and a dear friend. Yeah, these are people you don't know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And where is the best place to find out more information on the Female Eye Film Festival and on you online? I, well, I have a website, ValerieBahajar.com, so you can check that, and I'll try to up, keep updating it. <laughs> um, and Female Eye, of course, the website. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much, Val. Congratulations, and enjoy the rest of the festival. Thank you so much. You. All right. I'm Katie Allman, reporting for Katie Chats here at the Female Eye Film Festival in downtown Toronto.